Hello, class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, teacher. Fine, thank you. Good, good. I'm happy to see everybody. Um, well, not everybody because we still have many people that need to collect. How was your How was your um, your week today? Or better said, not sorry, not your week, your day. How was your your day today? Busy teacher. <laughs> I was working. Really. Mm -hmm. In How guides. Okay then. Okay. Well, at least there is a job, right? That's the important thing because, um, you know, sometimes with the situation that we live in, um, you know, some people don't even have a job. So, and, you know, they're going around, they, you know, they've, they've lost their jobs because of the pandemic and everything. So if we have a job, we got to, um, you know, be grateful that we have it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, um, and how about the rest of you? How are you? Very tired. Why? Why are you tired? I was working too. You were also working. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Uh, well, but um, it, well, the good thing is that we are in in the middle of the week. Only two more days left, right? That's the good news. Yeah. Okay. What about uh, the rest of you? How are you? Welcome, Sarai. Welcome, Vilma. Welcome, teacher. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, thank you for your welcome. Yes, I, I do appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm happy that you're, you're, you're welcoming to, you're welcoming me to the class. <laughs> that's great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, guys. Well. Um, how how was your your night yesterday? Did you all sleep nice and warm, or were you cold during the night? Well, I think that the weather was a little cold. Yeah, it was a little bit cold, but it was nice to sleep, right? Yesterday, uh, at least I slept like a baby. <laughs> you know that expression, sleeping like a baby? Yes, I always <laughs> sleep like a baby. Yeah, sleeping like a baby, it means like literally you sleep so well because, you know, babies, no matter what happens, they always like, they're sleeping 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 and they they um you know there could be a lot of noise in the house or you know but they're just woo, you know very very peaceful so yeah i slept like a baby yesterday i was you know i didn't wake up um well uh, i didn't I, I didn't wake up until it was very late actually <laughs> I, I overslept <laughs> there is an earthquake and i never wake up <laughs> oh no that that's bad <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> you know, uh, there and, are uh, strong rain and i never wake up <laughs> Yeah, that, that's also a little bit dangerous. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful with that one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it's good. I, I'm glad you are able to sleep well. Okay. All right, guys. Well, welcome to today's class. I'm glad to see you guys again. Um, okay, so 
Yesterday, um, I asked you to be able to make questions, right? And the only th I asked you only to make regular questions. And the reason why I asked you to make regular questions were because I told you that in class today, we were going to make the indirect questions, okay? So we're just going to have like the base of the direct, the direct questions, and then we're going to be doing the indirect questions, okay? Just a review uh, for the people that um, were not here yesterday for whatever reason, um, or, you know, had problems with the internet, or whatever. I'm going to um, I'm going to review this and let me t let me tell or better so tell me when you can see the word document because I just want to make sure that everybody can see it. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher we can see the document. Okay, perfect. So what I was explaining um, yesterday was that to make polite questions and they could either be polite questions or they could be questions, um, uh, well, they, they, they could be to, 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 to show that you are being polite to another person or they can also be um, used to um to make the other person not feel so um, invaded with their pri their privacy and everything if you're gonna if you have to ask a question that is um, a little bit touchy right or like not a, not a topic that that normally someone would answer so when you do that we always start with the um the indirect question beginning which is could be for example can you tell me, right? Oops, no. not me with double E. <laughs> okay, could you tell me? Can you tell me? Or what is the passive? Can you tell me? Tell me. Sorry, not the passive. Can you tell me? But with the passive, can. Could. Cool. I'm sorry. Cool. Cool. That's right. Could you tell me? Now, it, it could is the passive can. However, when you use um, could you tell me, it's not really talking about the past. It's still talking about the present. However, could is just used there um, to make it more polite. Okay. So, like, in, if you want to, if you want to get this a little bit and understand it a little bit better, um, it would be more like, um, like in Spanish, you would say, uh, puede decirme, o puede decirme, blah, blah, blah. And this is more like, podría decirme, o podrías decirme, right? So um, notice even in Spanish, it's a little bit more formal if you're gonna say podrías, right? Or in this case, could, right? So podrías o podría. Right, so could you tell me? So this is a tiny bit more formal, but it's the same, like, but they're both very polite, okay? I just want you to understand that, that both of them are very, very polite, okay? Um, let me just see if I can change there the, yeah, I just wanna, I wanna make sure I have enough space, so I'm going to change the margins. Um, I might, I, th I think I'm going to run out of space. Just give me a moment. Let's see, this would be over here. Yeah, okay, so... I thought this one doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to do this one. Okay, there we go. And we're going to, this one does matter. Okay. All right, so we're gonna change it over here, and there we go. Okay, so this should work a little bit better. There we go, that's better. Okay, um, as I was saying before, uh, oops, sorry about that. Um, let's change it. I'm gonna change the color to, um, 
let's change it to a blue. Okay. All right, so can you tell me, could you tell me, and what was the other one that we learned? Who remembers? Do you know? Very good. Or we can put also, do you know? Do you know? Okay. After that, uh, what comes after that? Tell me who remembers. What comes after? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? Or do you know? If. Before the ladies question. Yeah, exactly. The the WH question word, right? Or or the if, right? If the question if the question is a yes or no answer, it would be with if, okay? So we're going to say, can you tell me if, right? Um, oh, what happened? Okay, there we go. Could you tell me if, or could be a question word like what? Could you, t could you tell me what? Okay. Or we could um, do, could you tell me, uh, do you know when? Okay, so any question word, okay? Um, or, it, like I said, or if it's, if um, the question is a yes or no question, it, when we use the if, okay? After that, what? who remembers what comes after that? I think uh, verb. Subject. Subject. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Then mm -hmm. after this, subject. Subject, exactly. So the subject, um, it could be any subject, right? Um, so for example, could you tell me if, no, sorry, can you tell me if um i don't know we okay could you tell me if we okay or um could you tell me what and then um we can say could you tell me what um what time is it what time <laughs> Yeah, we could say what time is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, what time? All right. Um, sorry, no, 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 no. Sorry, in this case, no, mm -hmm. no, because in this case, it would, that what the what time would go together? Um, do you, okay? Could you tell me what um, your score, for example? Okay, or um, do you know when? Um, do you know when a supermarket is open? When the supermarket, okay, the supermarket. Okay, we are going to use the supermarket here. Um, okay, so we can, so this would be always the, um, the subject, okay. All right, so let's change that. Subject. Okay. And after that, what goes after the subject? Who remembers? The yeah. verb. The verb teacher. Exactly, the verb. So, for example, can you tell me if we... Um, need okay all right if we need and I'm gonna change that color I'm gonna change it to okay if we need okay or could you tell me what your score and then here I'm just going okay so um 
and then was, for example. Can you tell me what your score was? Okay. Or, for example, do you know, or do you know when the supermarket, um, when the supermarket op um, opens? Okay. Let me change that. Okay. So in the case, um, in some cases, we are going to need a complement. In other cases, we're not. Okay. So in the first case, for example, can you tell me if we need, um, uh, we need we're going to need a complement there, right? So for example, can you tell me if we need, um, uh, we need more, um, more, uh, more, more water. Okay. Could you tell me if you need more water? Okay. So in this case, we are going to be needing a complement, but not in all cases. You know, this is going to depend. Okay. All right. And in other cases, like this one, could you tell me what your score was? We're not going to need anything. Okay. And the same thing with here. Do you know when the supermarket opens? We're not going to need anything. Now, what you are going to need, and you have to make sure that you don't forget, um, because it is, after all, a question, okay, is to put the question mark after, okay? So we're going to say, do you know, do you, can you tell me if we need more water, right? Make sure you have there. Um, let's see, just give me a moment. Could you tell me what your score was? Okay, and we'll have, okay, do you know when the supermarket opens? Okay, and so on. All right, now, what I'm going to ask you to do, so, uh, by the way, okay, so is this clear for everybody, or do you, does anybody have any questions at this moment? Teacher. In the sentence, when is your birthday? In the red is, do you know when the birthday is? Um, okay. Um, sorry, could you repeat that? Um, could you repeat the, the indirect question? Do you know when your birthday is? That's correct, exactly. Just like this one right here, where the was goes at the end, right? Because of the verb to be. So do you know when your birthday is? And is comes from the verb to be, right? So yes. Do you, uh, do you know when your birthday is? Right. Obviously, the answer to that one would probably be obvious, right? So you would probably, it'd be more, it would be better or make more sense if you ask, do you know when his birthday is? Do you know when her birthday is, right? Because obviously everybody knows when their birthday is, right? Okay, unless they have, um, unless they have um, lost their memory or something like that, right? But other than that, they should know. But yes, that's correct. Grammatically speaking, yes, it's correct. Okay, so any questions at this moment? In this no, moment, no teacher. No teacher. Okay, great. So what I'm going to ask you to do is the following. I'm going to get you to work in groups. No, no, sorry, sorry, no, in pairs. I'm sorry, not in groups, in pairs. You're going to be working with a partner. And what you're going to do with your partner is you're going to tell your partner the question that you made up, the one that was for homework. So the direct question is, um, for example, um, in where okay um for example do we need more water okay do we need more do we need more water okay so that would be the question the direct question right and so what you have to do you tell your partner the direct the direct question and what your job is your partner is going to be giving you the indirect question okay now remember remember that in uh in indirect questions 
verbs like, sorry, the auxiliary like do, for example, is eliminate. If you notice, there is no, no do here. There's nothing, no do, no do, no does, no did. It is completely eliminated, okay? The only thing that helps us, for example, if it's do, um, if this was for, to give an example, if this was the, uh, the subject she, we could say, can you tell me if she needs more water? Okay, then that's what it would be. So the do in this case, okay, so in this case, if we, okay, does she need more water? The, in this case, the, the does is eliminated, but it helps us to understand that we are going to be using a simple present. So we're going to say needs because this one's a simple present. Does that make sense for you? No, Could no you, you, can, you can repeat that, please. Yeah, sure, I'll repeat that. Okay, so if you notice, this question is the direct question. Does she need more water? And this is changed to the indirect question, which is here. Can you tell me if she needs more water? So if you notice, when you change the direct question to indirect question, the does has been eliminated. You don't see does here. It doesn't exist. But the only thing that the does helps us with is to tell us that the verb has to be in the simple present, right? Because does is in the simple present. So you know that over here, you have to put it in the simple present. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Now, yes. Okay, good. And the same thing happens if it's did, for example. Did, um, another, we don't use ever did, but um, if we're going to, if the question is, did she, did she need more water? Okay. In this case, um, we're never going to use the word did over here, but the word did what it does is tells us that the verb need has to be in the, in the past. So we're gonna say, can you tell me if she needed more water? So that, even though the did disappears, but it tells us that need has to be in the simple past. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, so the did, do, does, it disappears, but it gives us important information to be able to use for the, the verb, okay? So uh, I'm gonna put you right now into groups. Sorry, sorry, not into groups, into pairs. We're gonna work with a partner and you're going to, your partner is gonna give you the direct question and you are going to be changing it to the indirect question. Remember, you can use any one of these. Can you tell me, could you tell me, do you know? It doesn't matter, each one of them is the same. So you, you can decide where, whichever one you want. If, if at the beginning it, um, you are only comfortable with using, can you tell me, then continue using, can you tell me? And then when you feel more comfortable, you can use with the, could you tell me? But really it's the same thing, okay? It, it, um, it's just different ways of expressing the same idea, okay? Is that okay? Yes. Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to open the groups. Um, let me, oops, okay. Let me actually stop sharing for a moment. Okay. And I'm going to create the groups right now so that you can work on it. Um, okay, let's see. Give me one second, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, just give me a second. Okay, all right, let's open up the groups right now. I'm opening it right now.
Maximiliano, do you have any questions, any problems joining the group? Maximiliano, do you have any, any problems joining the group? Maximiliano, can you hear me? Maximiliano, do you have any problems right now opening the microphone, hearing me? Maximiliano, I, I, I want to know if you can hear me so that I can help you. Could you tell me if you on a diet? Very if you good. are on a diet. Uh -huh, very good. Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you, Mariana. Very good. Just remember that you have to use the verb. So the verb to be, the verb is to be. So could you, um, could you tell me if you are on a diet? Uh, okay, teacher. Okay. Continue. Do you like a cup of coffee? Uh, I want to know if you if you will like some coffee. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Josabeth. Can you repeat, please? Um, I want to know if you would like to drink coffee, to drink some coffee. Ah, okay. Okay, Balami. <laughs> Do you have plans for your um do you want do you have plans for for the weekend? Can you tell me if you have plans for the weekend? Do you work tomorrow? Okay. Um, can you tell me if you are gonna are are you gonna work tomorrow? Okay, you say me you want, you want, no. Um, come? You say me do you want, no. Do you want to work? No, I said, uh, can you tell me if you are going to work tomorrow?
Ah, ok. Ok, la mía es, uh, do you want to dance with me? The supermarket open is. Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let, let's try this again. Could you repeat uh -huh. that, Jenny? Okay. Do you know the direct question is when can you when the supermarket open? When is the supermarket open? Uh, did you say sorry? Did you say when is the supermarket open, or when does the supermarket open? When the supermarket open. Sorry. When does? Uh huh. Okay. So does okay. remember the the auxiliary is does there. Okay. okay. Want to try that again, Jenny? Okay. Uh, do you know when the supermarket? opens perfect okay yes okay thank you we did it <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next question um why do you learn english why mm -hmm. um, can you tell me why you English learn? I think. It's correct, teacher. Because the verb is finish. <laughs> ah, okay. Is that again, yes. Carlos? I forget. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. Please, please, please uh, repeat the, the question. Why do you learn English? Ah. Uh, uh, can you tell me why you learn you English learn? Um, could you tell me why English learn? No, what is the subject? No. The why subject you is English? English, sorry. No. English is not the subject because uh, the subject is the one that does the action. English doesn't do any action. Okay, so it has to be, um, it, it has to be uh, the, um, the, 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 the person that learns. Okay. Can you tell me why why you learn English? Yeah, correct. Could you tell me why you learn English? That's perfect. Very good, Juan Carlos. There you go. Uh, I find the, the, the bird. <laughs> yeah, very good. Uh, the bird is a is complement on English with English. Learn English. That ring, yes. Teacher? Sorry, I didn't understand the question. La voy a decir en español. Ahí el verbo learn English es, es junto, así como what time. No, no. English is the complement. Learn is, a, is the verb. Does that make sense? No, but the structure is do you know plus WH questions plus touches plus bird. Me queda esa duda porque no es la estructura. Okay, repeat, repeat the sentence again. The sentence is, why do you learn English? The indirect question, do you, ¿cuál fue la que hizo? Can, can you tell me why? You, y después debería seguir el verbo, learn, por como inglés. Y te, it's correct, the, the structure, I guess. Yeah, it follows the structure. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yes, I, I understand that. <laughs> it's okay, Jenny. It's all right. No problem. Sorry, teacher. No problem, Jenny. It's okay. We're learning. That's 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 normal. Okay, so don't worry about it. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Next question, Juan Carlos. That that question is difficult. <laughs> what? ¿Cómo fue, perdón? Okay. Uh, can you tell me if is I am me vacation? Uh, is that the response? No, no. <laughs> Um, yes, I, I am in vacation. Um, ¿Cómo le tendría que contestar, Esther, entonces? Eso le tendría que contestar. Como, es que, can you tell me? Can you... Es, es una forma indirecta. Ah, ya lo estoy diciendo indirecto. Entonces, ahora yo tendría que contestarte esto. Bueno, en realidad es como formular la pregunta indirecta que hiciste como directa. Es como que... Do you, do you, como, do you sería que necesita ir a... Y si lo quisieras decir de una forma más indirecta, sería, podría decirme que necesitas. Una que necesitas? ¿Ah? Es que, como me dijo que, ¿por qué me había movido? <risa> ah, ah. Entonces sería, podría decir, could you tell me your need vacation? Podría porque yo necesitaba, o, sea, o podría decirme si necesito una vacación. Try, try to do it in English, girls. Try to communicate completely in English. Yes, but you need to say the indirect question, like direct question. Lyric. No response. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> For example, mm -hmm. uh, where is the bathroom? Could you tell me where the bathroom is? That's perfect. No, no es como, we don't have to respond to the question. We, we have to do to indirect form. Do you? Mm -hmm. Y si yo le hago una directa, digamos así, where is the pass? What? Where is the path? Where is the path? Uh, can you tell me what is the path? What the path is? I don't, I don't know. Eh, sería así como, como, oye, tú sí me lo sepas. What do you tell me, ¿verdad? Could you tell me? Where do 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 you tell me? Could you tell me? But it depends. Oh, I think that the time is over. How wow. 
Okay, I think I lost some people on the way because I, not everybody, I, can, I can't see everybody here. Okay, well, anyway, um, I think people are joining little by little. Okay, so anyway, uh, what did you, how did you feel with this exercise? Uh, were you able to do it? Did you have any problems? Was it something that was easy, difficult? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Tell me about it. I like it. Okay, good. What did you like about it? Uh, it's um, many difficult, many, but I understand uh, a lot of uh, with my me, with my partner. We did it uh, very well. Good. Okay, excellent. The whole idea with this exercise is that, right? That um, you are, yes, it's going to be challenging, right? I mean, learning a language may not be so easy. Uh, I completely understand. You know, there are, there are um, you know, ups and downs. There are things that are easy to understand, others that are not so easy. And I totally understand that, you know, I'm learning a language as well in this moment. And I understand that it's challenging. And don't expect all of the exercises to be super easy or for you to understand everything. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, like, from personal experience, something I do with when I'm like, because like I said, I'm learning an, another language as well. And what I do is something that I don't understand, a specific topic that I don't understand, I look for more information about, right? So I go on, I go on YouTube and I see other videos and that helps me a bit. And, and many times like I understand it, but many times there are things that I, I, I don't understand and I make mistakes and that's okay. Because when I make the mistakes, what I do is I simply look at the mistake and I say, okay, Oh, okay, I okay. So the make mistake was this, and that shouldn't be like that because of this, and then that makes me remember that for next time I won't make the same mistake. And sometimes I do make the same mistake. Sometimes I do. I mean, it's it's natural. We're human beings. But um, if you make the like, if you do it one time and you make the mistake, uh, something that personally helps me is to uh, write it down, write down the mistake. Uh, and another thing is to do association. Um, try to, to do association so that uh, it's a little bit easier to understand. So what I mean by association is, for example, if there is something that helps me, um, and I, I say, oh yeah, um, this is like, well, to give for, for me, like, oh, this is something like in English. Oh, oh yeah, this this is something like in Spanish, you know, and, and I and I, I do this association and say, oh yeah, yeah, it, this has to be in this order or whatever, right? So things like that, or for example, this word um, sounds like this, okay? Um, and, and that kind of helps a lot. Um, so something you can try. And like I said, you make mistakes, it's okay. It's okay, that's the way we learn, you know? If you if you if you didn't make any mistakes, I'd be like saying, "Hmm, why are you in this course?" 
because if you are not making any mistakes, it's because you already know everything. And if you know already everything, why are you here learning, right? So that, that doesn't make any sense, right? So it's okay. You make mistakes, it's okay, as long as you learn from them, okay? Okay, so anyways guys, there are a few minutes left of this class and what I'm going to do with the last remaining minutes is we're going to be um, learning a little bit about, um, well, so actually this is something that we saw in yesterday's class, part of it was in yesterday's class, and then we're just going to be simply reviewing it. Um, so I'm going to um, share and I want you to tell me if you can see it or not. Let me know. I can see. Yes, it. I can see. Okay, great. So, um, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm kind of lost in time right now, but yeah, I think it was yesterday. Um, yesterday, we talked a little bit about um, using the, the different quantifiers. Uh, for example, the much, sorry, the too much, the too many, uh, the more, the fewer, the less. But we also talked about enough. Do you remember that? We talked a little bit about enough. So um, today, and, 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 I, and as we were doing the exercises, I was kind of explaining to you about um, using enough. Right? What are the, the, the rules of using enough? Okay, so um, let me start by writing this down. Actually, since it's a title, I'm gonna be. Okay, so we learned, we've learned already that with enough, like when we're talking, for example, about um, quantifiers and saying, um, you know, what are the problems in a city? We could say, for example, um, let me change this to make to black. Okay, so we can say, for example, um, uh, we or there there oh my goodness what's something crazy is happening right now just give me a moment okay so I want to cooperate with me right now it's being a rebel okay let me try that again okay so there are int enough um let's say there aren't enough um uh, let's say shopping malls shopping malls in my city okay so this is something that we learned last class right and we learned that the structure um i explained to you that the structure about using enough would always be the not enough right and usually we say aren't for plural isn't for negative for sorry for uh, non countables and then after that would go the noun okay all right so in this case the noun is shopping malls right okay so that is something that we learned last class do you remember this Yes. Yes. Okay, good. I also explained to you that when we're talking about enough, we can also use adjectives and adverbs. And if we use adjectives and adverbs, those adjectives and adverbs would go at the beginning. Okay? We or better said before enough. Example, um, uh, for example, there are, um, uh, sorry, 
let's change it. This space, oh, hold on. Oh, sorry, not his space. But this space. This space isn't. And then I'm going to say the adjective. And I can say this space isn't um, wide enough. Okay. Uh, do you understand what the word wide means? Ancho. Yes, that is correct. It means ancho. Okay. So, um, actually, mm, let's, I don't know if I do that, I'm going to confuse you. So let's change this. Okay. I'm just going to highlight the enough. Okay. And um, so we have the enough here. And then we have wide, which is ancho, as you just mentioned right now. And with this one, because um, wide is an adjective, it has to go before enough. Okay, so this space isn't wide, isn't wide enough. Okay, do you remember that we talked a little bit about this last class? Yes, I remember. Yes, teacher. Good, okay, so remember that. And the same thing, for example, we could also say, um, uh, this, or better said, the, um, we can say, the dress um, is, or no, the dresses, let's say, the dresses. We're going to make it plural, just, to, just for the sake of making it plural. The dresses aren't, um, fancy enough okay do you understand what is fancy a la, i think uh, moda o la moda o elegante Exactly. Uh, fancy is like glamorous, elegant. Yeah, fancy, or mostly like uh, like glamorous. Okay. So the dresses aren't fancy enough. So it means that they're that you you they're not sufficient. Okay. We need more. Okay. The same thing happens. Uh, well, um, does, so far so good. Does this make sense for everybody, or are there any questions that's about this? Not teacher. It's okay, teacher. Okay, so just remember that if we're going to be using nouns, we're going to put them after enough. Okay, and if we're going to be using adjectives, we're going to be using it before enough. Okay, so that's basically what the the this lesson is about. Okay. Um, being able to identify where you're going to put the um, the the adjective or the noun. Okay. Now um, the same thing happens here with um, the verb. Uh, sorry, not the verb. The the word um, to. Okay. So if we're doing with the verb to, um, the word to. Let me see. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, so two. All right, the same, the word two, remember just, um, well, like we have been learning so far, that the two tells me that it's more than in, is necessary. So this one means that it's not sufficient and the two is just the opposite, okay? So it's saying that is um, that it's 
more than is necessary. Okay, that's what the two means. Okay, so in this case, um, we use, for example, um, if you say there aren't enough shopping malls in my city, the opposite of this would be something like this. Actually, I'm, yeah. So the opposite of this would be um, there are there are two many um, shopping oops, shopping malls in my city. Okay, so there are, there are too many shopping malls in my city. Okay, so this is something you already know. So in other words, when we are using the two, um, after, sorry, we would have to use too many, okay, to indicate um, that, um, um, too many or too much, right? Uh, depending on if it's um, singular, sorry, depending if it's non -count countable or non countable, okay? And after that, after the too many or too much, we would be using the, the noun, okay? Which in this case is shopping malls, right? Okay? Um, so that's with the two. Okay, now we can also use to, to you with the adjectives. In this case, for example, if he says this space isn't wide enough, it, we could say, um, we can use the opposite of wide. What's the opposite of wide? Narrow. So we can say um, this, uh, this space is too narrow. Okay, and basically that means the same thing. Okay, this space is too narrow. Okay. Um, all right, and um, in this case, narrow is like the opposite, right? So narrow, um, it, like in Spanish, would be like angosto, right? Okay, so the space isn't wide enough. Is the espacio eh, no es suficiente um, ancho, suficientemente ancho? And the opposite would be the space is too narrow. Es the espacio es muy angosto. And then the opposite of fancy would be maybe um, plain. So we can say the dresses are too plain. And it, this would be meaning the same thing, okay? So in both cases, if you notice, two is used um, right before the noun. Sorry, the, the adjective, I'm sorry about that. The adjective, okay? And the adjective in this one would be narrow. And in the adjective in this one is um, plain, okay? All right, so let me change that. And so in this case, if you guys notice, um, the two doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a, um, a, um, if it's a noun or an adjective, it's always going to go after the word two. Okay. Does that make sense for everybody? Or do you have any questions you want to ask me before? Teacher, does a sentence is a positive or similar to the first ones? No, this it's 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 the same thing. It's the same the same meaning. The meaning. Okay, the, the meaning is the same. Yes, and, and yeah. because you and in, in some moments you say a positive and I no confused. the opposite the opposite adjective wide the opposite ah, wide okay. is narrow the opposite okay. fancy is plain okay? Okay, okay but the meaning is the same. Okay. For example, if I say to you, la manzana es muy grande, eh, 
o oh, sorry, no, la, la manzana no es, no, no es suficientemente grande. La manzana no es suficientemente grande. The same thing to saying, la manzana eh, es um, demasiado pequeña. It's the same thing. Yes. So that's what I'm saying, okay? So that's the, the what it means with this, okay? Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, guys, we're going to stop there today because that is all the time we have. So um, I'm going to once again send you some exercises like last time for you to work on and um, we'll talk about that next class, okay? All right, so take okay. care guys, see you. Uh, it's been great seeing you, take care. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Goodbye.